Hello, my dear ones. It, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. It is Tuesday, December 28th, and I think this is the fourth or fifth video I've done today sharing happy mail, and I thought I was done. I, I just um, uploaded Sue's happy mail, Sue Crozier, uh, and then I went upstairs to check my mail, and I had a package, I think I had told you guys, from Tina. So, Tina, this is completely unexpected. I didn't even know this was coming. And uh, all I've done is cut open the package and we're going to see what's in here. And uh, I know that Tina has been doing some, um, she got some really neat, uh, oh, uh, some neat finds on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm not sure, oh my goodness, this is adorable. Right, is this Hero Arts? I think, yeah. This is a Hero Arts uh, set. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. I love you. Isn't that adorable? That'd be so cute on the back of a card, you guys. And then there's stars, little patches, and little patches with buttons, and some thread spools, a whole thing of buttons. That would make a neat background, I think. Um, and then this little heart patch, would, which would be adorable for Valentine's Day. And then this little angel is holding a heart. So these would be perfect to do lots of different cards with. And just really fun to do backs of cards and things too. Oh my gosh, thank you for sharing those with me. I can't believe you sent me those, honey. Oh my gosh, what is in here? What did you do? <gasps> Look at this cute little Sizzix wagon. Oh my gosh. Now this is, you guys, these are um, like the half, half of a Biggs die. And these are steel rule dies. For you, for those of you that are new to die cutting, um, a steel rule die will cut through many different things. And so you can like cut fabric with these to put on your, um, like if you wanted to decorate a dish towel or something, um, or add an applique to a blanket or a, you know, whatever you're doing, make an ornament, whatever. Um, these dies are so nice to have in your stash. And I do not have this one. This is an adorable little wagon and I can totally see this with gingers or candy canes or greenery. So I could totally see using this for Christmas. Oh, look at this one. This one's a little robe with bunny slippers. Again, this could dress your gingers up. You could dress your bunny rabbits during Easter with the little bunny slippers. Put little tiny faces on them using your mini peachy keen from my Jillian's favorite set. I have these little tiny faces and you could totally put faces on these. So this one is Doll Bath Clothes, 380109, and this one is Wagon, 380137. Oh my gosh, thank you for sharing those with me. Jeez, I just, you guys, I am so overwhelmed at how many things people are sending me. I, I have no words. Um, oh, these are, she, Tina told me she was going to send these. Oh, Tina, this is an English breakfast tea decaffeinated, which I can use, and these are recyclable K-cups, um, K-cup pods. Oh, this is so cool. So this is for the Keurig, and Gigi and Tina sent me a beautiful Keurig coffee maker, um, tea maker, hot water maker. It does a lot of different things. You can even do, you know, instant bouillon or whatever and make soup at lunch. Um, so just a wonderful machine and this is the tea to go with it and I love English breakfast. Oh my goodness. Um, what else is in here? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. I can't believe it. Let's grab this next. The essence of love is kindness. Robert Louis Stevenson. Th that is so true. The essence of love is kindness. And spreading kindness, I really feel, is the golden rule here on earth. Um, I think we are God's hands on earth and what we do matters each day. May the quiet beauty of this season bring you deep joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the coming year. Oh, Tina, that just makes me choke up. That's a beautiful sentiment. May the quiet beauty of this season bring you deep joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the coming year. 2003, Stampin' Up. That is beautiful. And this one doesn't say the year, but it's Robert Louis Stevenson, one of his quotes from Oh my goodness, those are both so beautiful. Oh, those are gonna go right up on my counter up here. <laughs> I love having things like that that I look at every day that they just bring me joy. And uh, it's so important to feed your spirit every day because life is hard. 
What is this? Life's Moments. This looks like it's the lid to something. And that must be the other piece of it must be down in here. She's got everything packed really good with bubble wrap. Let me see if I can get the next thing here. What is this? Melita Java Jig. Oh, this is the thing she was telling me about that you can put your coffee grounds directly into this and then put it into the Keurig. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is so cool. So I'm gonna get everything all set up. Um, I've gotta get everything set up. Uh, I've had company the last few days. Things have just been hectic. <laughs> um, oh, this is like a little jar. And then this has got a little, um, it's almost like a little wishing jar or, let's see, where's the lid? Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Life's moments. And that's so you can keep track of the moments. You can write down the things that bring you joy. We used to, my son and I used to have a little mason jar after my husband died and we would write down things and put it in the jar and then you go back and look at them a year later and uh, it's a neat way to to help you grieve. Uh, I won't go into all the details but that reminds me of this and then I think this will be the perfect place to store happy memories. Um, you can write down something special you did that day, you put them in the jar and then um, when you're feeling down, you go back and read all the happy memories and it helps you get over your sadness that you might be feeling in that moment. But um, I think that's what I will use this for. So what a neat, neat thing. Um, that is just beautiful, Tina. I'm so touched by this. Um, and if you're wondering, this is a creative memories jar. So, oh, that is so neat. And uh, I think that's a wonderful idea. So. I'll have to put this up where my son and I can write our little notes in there. Um, so that is everything that was in the box. Oh my goodness, Tina, that is just an incredible gift. I love these stamps and the dies that you sent. Um, everything is so wonderful, sweetie. And uh, you and Gigi touched my heart with your sweet gift of the coffee maker and all the things to go with it. These beautiful dies, um, I just have no words. Uh, everything that you sent and these beautiful stamps, this beautiful, beautiful hero art stamp set. So, um, Tina, you just overwhelm me with your kindness. You're the sweetest lady. I love your channel. I love how you support Saturday Morning Makes and make it special for all of us. And all you share on your channel with the stamps that you find and share um, so people can learn what they are and where they might be able to find them, you know, in their own communities when they're out thrifting or hunting through reuse it stores. Um, I just think, you know, we all contribute to this community and each one of you is so special and you all touch my heart and uh, I'm so happy that we all have each other, uh, especially during the holiday season. So thank you guys so much for making our Christmas so very special. Um, I, I just am completely overwhelmed by everybody's kindness and uh, um, I feel like we need to spread the love further out to maybe some people that, that are less fortunate than Tim and I. I think we're so very fortunate and uh, I, I hope that we're taking care of the people in our community that maybe don't have as much and need support. Um, anyway, I, I just love you all and uh, I, I hope that 2022 is a good year for everybody and that even with all that's going on with the pandemic that we can remember to try to choose joy i know it's not an easy thing to do all the time but um i hope that we can do it so blessings and hugs everybody tina you warm my heart tina and Gigi, thank you again for the coffee maker and to every single person that has sent me a card left me a comment on a video wishing me a merry christmas and a happy new year that has messaged me through the different feeds like Instagram and Facebook. Um, I, all of you touch my heart. Um, there's so many of you, I, I know I don't always respond on time. I don't always respond to all the comments. This channel's grown to over 8,000 people this year and I'm finding it harder to keep up with everything. Um, 
but I would love you to all know that I do try to read every single comment that comes through and I respond when I have time, either in the evenings when I'm getting ready for bed and I'm laying in bed trying to relax, I'll oftentimes read comments and respond or first thing in the morning. Um, but all your comments mean so much. So bless you all. Um, and thank you for being a part of this community and making um, crafting so much fun for me. Sharing heart with all of you is a joy, all right? Blessings and hugs. Bye now. I'll be back again soon, hopefully with something crafty to share. Bye.